Hello there, this is Jonathan of the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Box review. This time looking at a brand new Halo set, the Brute Chopper Raid. This is set number DPJ91, consists of 221 pieces and should retail between 20 and 30 pounds. This set primarily is made up of the Brute Chopper itself, a blue uh, bubble shield, although in that colour it's probably more of regen field. You get the little generator as well, and of course Spartan Cat, which I'm sure many of you will be buying this set for just for her, especially since we've now finally, after two years, been able to complete Noble Team. So this set's made up of a few, a few new parts, uh, especially on the chopper, including the new wheels. Um, some nice new features on it as well. Uh, it's a, been a bulked up build as well uh, versus previous choppers. The they were considerably smaller. Um, I don't know if you remember, but they were in ten pound sets. They were that small. This thing now has like two hundred odd pieces to it. Uh, so it is really good um, to see that they've upgraded it and made it a lot more accurate. But as I said, I bet a lot of you are buying it for cat. Uh, but we'll go into the vehicle first and we'll work our way through it now. So taking a look at the chopper itself, as you can see, it's significantly bigger than previous builds. Uh, it's a lot more accurate as well. You have the nice curve. This is all made from blocks, not a sculpted piece. Absolutely fantastic they've managed to do that. Uh, you also get a lot better car um, cannons on the side. These were little just um, cylinders previously. Um, so I'm glad that they are, granted they are ghost uh, cannons that they're reusing, but it fits the part well. Um, and it's just really glad to see that it's finally got some sort of better weaponry than previous releases did. They've even included the uh, little ramming teeth here at the front. Um, if you rotate it around, you can see the wheel mechanism inside. They are both independent of one another, so they do spin. Um, not really getting much traction on the surface, but they do rotate just fine. If I just do that, there you go, you can see that they rotate. You have some nice printed detail with these uh, lines and strappings on the uh, front of it. You have the uh, nice kind of little uh, blades on the side. Uh, the curved bit of the seat, that's a reuse from the previous uh, Brute Choppers, uh, but it's really nice that they've included that. As you can see, they're just nice curved pieces. Uh, the seat does kind of um, adjust a bit, it's on a bit of a hinge, although the Brute's blocking it at the moment. The handles are a lot better because these pivot, so you can really get a figure to grip them well. Um, as you can see, I've got a new Brute on there, so it works really, really well. He is perhaps a little bit short because he can't reach his uh, foot pedals. Uh, but other than that, it is really, really great. And one of the key features of the Brute Chopper is that you can uh, rotate this round. Now, this is faithful to the game completely. Um, in the game, as you turn in, the, uh, the whole body will turn independently. It will rotate like that. Um, so it's cool that they've actually done this in terms of the Mega Bloks toy. They didn't have to. Um, but it, it just adds to the authenticity and it creates some cool kind of poses as you can see you can like rotate the whole body around and have him kind of still straight up it, it is really really nice you even get some nice kind of blue hover pad on the back uh, the only downside i would say for this it's a fantastic build but it needs a display stand um kind of at the back here they are kind of putting the weight onto the hover pad at the back but he kind of should be a bit more raised up so a, a, a few clear blocks underneath like previous brute choppers would have been nice um i'm not going to rate the set down because of that um i have clear blocks and i'm sure a lot of you do if you can borrow them some of you will be happy using this blue kind of section um i'm just it seems a little odd that they've uh, missed that off uh, it should be hovering a little bit higher um but it's nothing to uh, cry about it's still a great set and uh, no complaints i'm really glad that they've upgraded this i hope we see a prowler upgrade in the uh, coming months or years perhaps um th that could do with some sort of like posable uh, side pod sections now that they've featured this rotating section here um, there's no excuse not to do that on the prowler so yeah great set and i hope it shows of uh, the attention to detail the brutes are going to get in the coming years so taking a look at the UNSC side of this set, uh, as I mentioned before, you do get this bubble shield. It is labelled as a bubble shield, but as I've highlighted, because of the colour, it's more of the regeneration field from Halo Reach. However, this is a bubble shield emitter from Halo 3. So it's kind of, you know, do what you want with it. Uh, to me, it's more of a regenerator. Um, but this is all made up of segments. It is just a re-release of the bubble shield from the Revenant from 2010, I think that was. Um, so it does all kind of come apart and you could do like a battle damage shield by taking a panel out. So it's a nice little piece. It even has studs as well if you wanted to build onto it. But I don't see why you would because it's just a fantastic thing. And it does sit over characters no problem. It just sits there and it really does the part. So no complaints on this piece. I'm glad to see it back into circulation because it has been a while since we've seen an armour uh, feature like this. Definitely glad that we've got it. 
So, taking a closer look at Cat, uh, been a highly requested figure, of course. Um, a lot of people have needed this complete Noble team. We started seeing Noble team members in 2014 with the Elephant. We saw a few last year as well. Um, so, it's finally happened. We finally completed the team. I'm really happy that we have. It's been a long time coming. I hope we don't have to wait so long for future teams, um, Red Team, for example, or uh, even the Fire Teams from Halo 5. I really do hope we see those a lot quicker. But I think the wait was definitely worth it because this cat figure is absolutely fantastic. You have some nice painted details on the chest with the white stripes and box section. Nice clear paint on the silver visor with some sculpted in lines as well. You get the clear cut black visor um, shade up there. You also get the uh, white stripe as well on top of the helmet. Um, unfortunately they didn't paint the uh, CNM attachment on the side of the helmet. Um, that should be black or grey. Um, a little bit of a shame that they missed that off, but still, it looks the part, and I'm glad that they included it, because they didn't even have to sculpt that on. So I'm glad that they've included that sort of detail. Uh, you also get a quite authentic robotic arm, um, if I just rotate that around. Uh, as you can see, it is a reuse of the Terminator arm, um, which I have a problem with personally. It's not over accuracy, but it's over posability. As uh, that's pretty much all it does. Um, it pivots round, but it can't bend any more than what it's already at. Um, so for pistol shots, if I try and... That's kind of like as good as it looks if she's trying to aim the pistol. You can't have a two-handed aim with cat. Um, it is kind of just random like that. And I think that's a bit of a shame. Um, there's no excuse really why the ball joint is missing. There's more than enough room for it to fit in, um, so it is a shame that they've done that. Um, I would have personally taken a normal arm. Um, I know people probably would have complained then because it wouldn't have been a robotic arm, but I think I'd rather see that over um, not having an arm that works, especially because like, it's going to look silly with like a bigger weapon like an assault rifle if she's firing it one-handed. So it is a bit of a shame, uh, but I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy the robotic arm for authenticity. Now, taking a look at the Brute, this is a Brute Captain armor. Um, it is in, uh, I guess, in accurate color. Uh, these are normally in some silvers, blues, and golds. Um, so this red is a bit off. However, it has a really nice metallic tint to it. The red has a nice metallic tone to it underneath um, with some sort of kind of purple speckle. So when the light catches it, it just looks really, really cool. Um, I'm not a fan of inaccurate figures, but that kind of effect just makes it really stand out. So I would definitely be keeping hold of these guys as they're really, really cool. It uses the same brute body as we saw on the Kodiak brutes, um, just with different armor pieces. Um, and that's fine. It works well. The figure fits great on the vehicle as well, so no complaints there either. Um, you get the uh, brute mauler weapon. That isn't a redo. That um, is just a carryover from the previous uh, releases. Uh, no new sculpt here. But the Brute is great, adds to the uh, set in a whole, and it's good that you've got a pilot for the new vehicle as well. So overall, you get a great new set here. You get a brand new Brute Chopper with some upgraded details, some great paint apps, and just the, its upgraded size is such an improvement. I am completely happy with this vehicle, and I'm glad to finally see the Brutes are finally getting some good attention. You get a great Spartan. Finally managed to complete Noble Team, so definitely happy there. I should also note as well that she is on the female body as well. I expected them just to reuse parts from Noble 6, but they actually did re-sculpt the uh, chest piece to be female and the body underneath as well, so I'm really happy with that. The Brute figure is absolutely fantastic, and the accessories with the bubble shield and the weaponry chosen in this set, absolutely no complaints. I even like the new uh, display stands here, as you can see. These are new pieces instead of just the little black plates. So, I have no complaints with this set. Really glad, really good value for money, and it's a nice army builder as well if you want to amass an army of choppers like we see in game. So, that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be reviewing more Halo and Call of Duty Mega Bloks in the coming weeks, so don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!